Well, we do want to once again check in with Storm Tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith at midday on this Wednesday. Carson, what can we expect for today and then the rest of this mm -hmm. week? Yeah, we've got plenty of sunshine today and tomorrow as well. But just like last week, we have that threat for severe weather late Friday night. That is a view of Decatur as we close in on high noon on the Way 31 Skycam Network. Plenty of blue skies. There's some clouds out there, not a whole lot. That will be the view for the rest of this afternoon. Make sure you get outside. Just keep that lighter jacket nearby with those temperatures only climbing in the mid-60s. Still comfortable, though. No need for the umbrella. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is quiet. As we mentioned, we will stay dry. A beautiful spring day. Your forecast high is 66. Note the wind. It's coming out of the northwest today around 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's not too terribly breezy, but that wind is going to switch directions later on tonight, and that sets the stage for warmer temperatures tomorrow. As far as the dry weather is concerned, well, that means the pollen is still running pretty high. Tree pollen's been in the very high category all week. Grass pollen's been in the high category. That is going to remain the case through at least Friday. And that, of course, is when our storm chances go back up and when that severe weather threat is back into play as well. Let's go through future radar for the next couple of days because it's a nice and quiet future radar. Not a whole lot of cloud cover. Some, not a whole lot though. Highs in the mid 60s for most of us. Could stay in the low 60s though in Southern Tennessee today. When you wake up on Thursday morning, it will be cold again, but it's not going to be as cold as what we saw this morning. A lot of us dropped into the upper 30s. We'll have some spots get to that 38, 39 degree range, but most of us will hold near 40 when you wake up tomorrow morning. Still a chilly start, but not expecting any frost tomorrow. Highs in the mid 70s Thursday afternoon, thanks to that wind switching directions like we talked about. Most of us will hover in the 72, 73 range, but some warmer spots may make a run for 75 before the day is out on Thursday. And as we look ahead to Friday, the act of weather returns. Here's what you need to know at this point. During the day on Friday, we expect scattered showers and storms. Will those storms be severe during the day? No. What our main focus will be is a line of storms right ahead of a cold front, just like we saw last Friday night, capable of damaging wind gusts and tornadoes. The timing, virtually the same after 9 o'clock Friday night. And I think by tomorrow morning, we're going to have a really good idea of that exact timing when you can expect those storms where you are. So make sure you tune in for those updates tomorrow morning. Here's a look at future radar. One of our forecast models This is around seven o'clock Friday night. Scattered showers and storms ahead of the front continue. This line of storms near Memphis Friday night will be packing that punch with damaging wind gusts, possibly a few tornadoes. I will say this line should weaken as it pushes east of I-65, but we all still will have that threat for severe weather, especially if you live west of I-65. And again, this weekend, once that front moves out, we'll clear things out with the highs in the low 70s. Stay with us on all of our platforms, including the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather app. Seven-day forecast shows another stormy stretch early next week. We're back in a moment.